friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis and the eye is deep seated let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome and this is a side port on the right side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. This is another side port on the left side of the main incision about same distance away. And now this is an air bubble. Underneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. Staining becomes immediate if you stain the capsule underneath an air bubble. This is a bit of adrenaline. Because the eye is dipsitted, there is fluid collection over the cornea, and the assistant has to soak the fluid away from the ocular surface. Now this is 2% SPMC filling up the anterior chamber and it is applied over the cornea for better visibility. And now I am going to use a uh, uterator forceps for capsular access. The ut uterator forceps goes in, the anti-capsule is torn and capsular tag is raised this capsular tag is guided anticlockwise to do a continuous curvilinear capsular axis now hydro dissection BSS and a 27 gauge cannula is used the fluid wave is directed just underneath the anterior capsular rim the nucleus is mobilized the nucleus is rotated visco is again applied inside the anterior chamber and now is the time to introduce the FECO needle the machine being used is Oatly Catarex 3 the FECO needle goes in bevel down, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and watch a layer of BSS over the cornea and I am doing you can say underwater FECO. My assistant is soaking the layer of BSS as much as possible but still there is a layer of fluid over the cornea and underwater FECO is a nice term to describe this situation and watch what I am doing I am separating the epinucleus from the nucleus so that uh, epinuclear cushion remains to protect the posterior capsule. Since the fluid over the cornea decreases visibility a lot, this safety measure we can take. The epinucleus is kept intact so that it forms a protective barrier for the posterior capsule and now once the capsule is managed we have to remove the epinucleus it has been done and now this is a small bit of nucleus it comes out through the side port and we have managed the nucleus very well 
under water so our underwater FECO has been a success and now this is aspiration of cortex at this time the irrigation and aspiration is getting balanced so there is not much of fluid layer over the cornea but if we use bimanual irrigation aspiration this balance it is difficult to maintain this balance irrigation may be more and aspiration may be less so the fluid layer over the cornea will remain so we are towards the end of the cortical cleanup this is the last portion of the cortex and it is done and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens I am going to use a B cartridge and for that I need to enlarge the main wound so I have asked for the keratome and this is how you enlarge the main wound just two cuts to enlarge the wound to about 3 mm and this is hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens the lens has gone into the capsular bag the haptic cert at the equator of the capsular bag and the lens is nicely centered and now this is irrigation of the anterior chamber to remove any visco that was in the lumen of the cartridge this is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the stab incisions the side ports are closed now is the time for a final lavage of the anterior chamber at this time any visco sticking to the corneal endothelium is removed and the antechamber is very nicely formed the intraocular should be on the higher side of the normal the integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention underwater FECO is not difficult just take the challenge and do it thank you very much for your eagerness to learn